What's up guys, Baba Tundo Motawa here. So today's video, I'll be sharing with you how you can correct the issue of your MacBook Pro camera green indicator showing on your MacBook. In my case here, I fixed it, so I want to show you how you can do it. There are actually four to five ways you can fix it in case your MacBook Pro is showing the green indicator for the camera and it is turned on or it is stuck there and it's not, you know, going off. Here are the things you need to do. The first thing to do here is to make sure your MacBook Pro is updated to the latest version. Before, I was on Ventura, but right now, I've updated my software. I'm now on macOS Tahoe 26.0.1. Please update and make sure your Mac is up to date. The second thing you need to do here is to restart your system. So restart it which should be the first thing, restart it and see. You can also first restart it and see if it's going to remove the green indicator that is meant for the camera here. And if you have done those two things and it is still stuck there, the green indicator is still stuck there, then what you have to do is to now go to the search bar here. All right, go to the search bar and search for settings. I hope you can see that. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, so... You go to the search bar here and search for camera. And as you can see, it shows accessibility and privacy and security. Now, go to allow applications to access the camera. When you select that option, it's going to show you some applications that are accessing your camera in order to work. So, these are the applications on my own MacBook that is accessing my camera so that they can work. You can see hand mirror, WhatsApp, and Zoom. Now toggle on, toggle them on and see if the camera light, the green light will go off or go on. So you toggle them on and toggle them off. If it is still stuck there because it was still stuck there in my case, so do this next. The next thing to do is to now go to these camera options. That is camera options alternate pointer action select that and it's going to show alternate pointer actions now select the camera option here and it's going to bring up your camera like this as you can see it's showing my room which you can see here so the next thing you have to do now is to now go to this option under camera showing your facetime hd camera then select that and select the option under the drop down menu so in my case here you can see it's showing sony camera imaging hedge that is imaging hedge app for the sony camera so just select something else and it's going to you know change it for you now you can also bring it down if you have iphone like maybe you want to use your iphone for mirroring like iphone 15 pro max in my case here just select your iphone 15 pro max or your iphone and it's going to show your iPhone here. As you can see, it is showing right on my phone here, which you can see. Okay. So if it shows like this, then the next thing you should do is to now change it back to your FaceTime. And it's going to show this camera and select OK. That should fix the green indicator for your camera. So that is how I fixed mine. And if that doesn't work for you, you can still try this second option here and pick the camera option and check it all over again okay so that way just try changing it to other settings here select sony camera or if you don't have sony select your iphone 15 or your iphone whatever iphone model you are using and take it back to facetime hd camera that should fix it once it is done select ok all right select ok once again and your camera indicator that is the green camera indicator should go off by now that is how i fix my in case you have any question please drop down there in the comment section and i will see you on the next one bye for now peace